Hey, hey everybody, Steph here, still sick. Look how big my hands are relative to my head. It's amazing how big they are. Look at that, it's crazy. Anyway, so um, I'm gonna do a uh, Q&A here, answer a few questions. And uh, so let's just read off an email sent to me by somebody. I am a newbie, but I love programming. And I'm learning PHP, JavaScript, and C Sharp. Woo! It's a lot of things to learn at the same time. Although a lot of programming languages share many of the same concepts and principles, variables, functions, arrays, conditional statements, recursion, object-oriented programming techniques, they're all very similar. You should pick one and learn that one, and then maybe branch into other ones as you need to. Anyway, let me go back to the email. Uh, I love it so much, but I am afraid. Uh, I am smart enough, to, am I smart enough to become a good programmer? Will I get a decent job? There is too much information, too many frameworks, too much languages. I feel overwhelmed. I feel stuck. I feel stupid. Uh, could you please help me? Sometimes I feel like there are so talented, I guess so many talented programmers that I am, than I am. I'm not reading his email very well. well. It wasn't very well written, but anyway. Can I ever be one of the talented ones? Uh, I feel bad. Okay, so here's the situation. I'm going to cut to the chase. So you got this guy who uh, is learning multiple languages at the same time, and he's looking out there in terms of all the various programming languages and frameworks that you see. And it can be very, very, very overwhelming. I can imagine. Well, actually, I know. Let me give you a little story. Now, the story takes us way back to the 19, um, I guess the 80s, late 80s, early 90s. I faced a similar situation when it came to martial arts. There were all these martial arts systems out there and it was like overwhelming. Oh my God, what am I gonna learn? There's so many, what do I do? What happened? Being a obsessive compulsive workaholic, I started taking multiple martial arts at the same time. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I do one style, and Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, th Tuesday, Thursday, I do another style, Saturday, I do something else, and I switch it up. And I did this for a number of years. Uh, it got to the point where I'm about 17 years old, and I've done martial arts at this point fairly consistently for about seven years. I started when I was 10. And one of my teachers and one of the styles said to me, well, Steph, you've done a lot of martial arts over the years, and uh, you know a lot of, about several different styles. He said, he said to me, but your problem is you're not an expert in any one style. And as a result, it slows you down. So he said to me, what you should do is concentrate on one style of martial art, master it, become proficient at it at least, and then what will happen is that it will raise the game on all the other styles that you do. So what I did is I took his advice, because this guy had been doing martial arts for a lot longer than me, and I stuck to one style. It was hard because you're, if you're curious about other systems of martial arts, it, you, you, you want to go. But what I did is I concentrated on one style, and I did a little bit on the side, something else. But I cut it down to like one day a week on the secondary style and the rest of the week on this one system. And what happened is I got very good at that new that one system much more quickly. And just like my teacher told me at the time, when I got to a higher level in martial arts and that one system, it basically improved my skill sets in all the other systems I had been doing. And you'll see that with programming. If you are an intermediate level JavaScript coder, PHP coder, C Sharp coder, you are an intermediate level coder. But if you become an expert at pick whatever language, PHP or C Sharp or whatnot, when you become an expert in that one language where you become a more sophisticated level programmer, your ability to then write sophisticated JavaScript code and PHP code is, is there, really is there, because the languages are all very similar. 
And what separates the great coders, well, one of the things anyway, that separates the great coders from the not so great coders is the level of sophistication in the code. So I'd rather take somebody who's been coding in C Sharp for six years and bring him into JavaScript as an example, have it, figuring he's never done JavaScript before. This person with six years of C Sharp coding is going to get up to speed with the JavaScript super quickly. I'd rather the C Sharp guy who's never done JavaScript before, rather bring this person in to write JavaScript than getting somebody who's been doing JavaScript for a year and has no other background in coding. So pick a language, stick to it, and then build up from there. As a developer, you do not need to know all these different things. I see some videos out there where they say, you got to learn this, you got to learn that, you got to learn DevOps, you got to learn this language. That's, it's, it's not true. It's BS. You have to be a good developer, a good coder. And that has nothing to do really, or very little to do with learning all these languages. You should be aware of the landscape. You should know what the options are, but it doesn't mean you have to be totally knowledgeable about all these options because as an expert developer, when you get to that point, when you're a pro level, you'll be able to learn this framework or this language or this system pretty quickly when the job demands it. So in my software development career as a freelancer, especially in the last several years, I would walk into a gig, walk into a project, and I would listen to what the clients were looking to do. And based on what they told me, I would choose the language. I would choose the framework. Sometimes the language and the framework were languages or a framework I've never used before. Didn't matter. I can get up to speed in it in a couple of days because of my background as a developer. So keep that in mind. I know it can be overwhelming. You have to cut away all the noise of these other frameworks and languages. Pick one that you like, that uh, you find entertaining and rewarding. And if you're concerned about the job prospects, what you should do, you should look around, as I've talked about in other videos, at what the other, what particular language rather means in terms of job prospects. So you look to see how many jobs in, we'll say C Sharp, how many C Sharp jobs are in your area. What companies are looking for C Sharp developers and see whether or not that matches with who you are. You know, because some companies, they may require you need a certain type of degree or the type of work that they're doing you may like or not like. So that's very important you pick that. So at any rate, even if you choose C Sharp as an example, or PHP as an example, and you decide after learning it really well that you'd rather jump into something else, something else, you haven't wasted your time because all that you learned learning C Sharp or PHP, 100% of what you learned there is gonna transfer into the next language, or all that you've learned in this framework will transfer into that framework. There's, there's no, time lost learning a programming language, learning a framework, none at all. So don't worry about it. Just get into it, write code, and you'll be fine. Cheers.